The Curtis Bleeker SX-51 was one of the boldest early attempts to solve the fundamental problems of rotary wing flight. Conceived by Maitland Bleeker, a young engineer who worked with the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, the project set out to tame torque, vibration, and control at a time when practical helicopters barely existed. Work began in the mid-1920s. Bleeker secured backing from Curtis, later Curtis Wright, and construction unfolded over roughly four years at Garden City. The prototype cost about $250,000, a massive investment for the period. Power came from a 420-horsepower Pratt & Whitney Wasp engine mounted in a compact fuselage suspended under the rotor. Instead of relying on a single main rotor to both lift and drive the aircraft forward, Bleeker distributed thrust. The SX-51 used a giant rotary wing with four broad wing-like blades. At the tip of each blade sat its own four-bladed propeller driven through shafts from the central engine. These tip propellers provided forward thrust around the disc, while stabovators, trailing control surfaces on each blade, altered the blade pitch in flight. The result resembled four small airplanes rotating around a common hub. Control was strikingly modern. A stick acted much like today's collective control changing lift across the rotor system, while yaw came from a foot-pedal-driven spin vane that used rotor downwash to pivot the airframe. The helicopter had one of the highest ratios of rotor mass to gross weight ever built, a sign both of its ambition and its structural complexity. Testing revealed the price of innovation. Ground runs and tethered trials exposed severe vibration, transmission stresses, and drive shaft failures. A major shaft gear breakdown in 1929 halted progress, and the economic pressures of the early 1930s eliminated funding appetite. By 1933, the program was abandoned. Accounts differ on whether the SX-51 achieved more than brief tethered hops, but it never demonstrated sustained free flight. Yet the Curtis Bleeker was far from a dead end. It validated ideas about collective-type control, rotor-tip propulsion, and distributed loads along blades. It also exposed the harsh engineering realities of coupling high-speed shafts, controlling dynamic twist, and suppressing vibration in large rotors, lessons every later helicopter designer confronted. Bleeker continued working in aeronautics through World War II and beyond, living to 2002. The prototype itself faded into history, but its influence persists in the way engineers approach torque management, blade control, and experimental rotor concepts. Viewed today, the SX-51 stands as a daring bridge between early theoretical rotary wing ideas and the practical helicopters that followed. A reminder that progress often begins with prototypes that fail, but teach everything.